In today's Madden 21 tip, I'm going to be breaking down a phenomenal passing concept that you can utilize really to beat every coverage. But the coverage we're going to focus in on today is man-to-man -man as well as a couple of zone coverages. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. If you've never been a part of my YouTube channel before, basically what my channel does here is we post four times a day here on YouTube some type of tactical strategy, tip, or concept, or play concept that you can use to be more effective in Madden 21. So if you want to get better at this game, if you want to win more games, and you want the tools to be able to do that, I want to encourage you right now to click that subscribe button in the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. Also, one of the things that we do is we text out every single week an exclusive tip to our texting members. So if you haven't joined the text membership, it's very, very easy. All you have to do is just type your first and last name, pull out your phone, text that to 812-216-3644. Let me know you want to be a part of that membership, and I will shoot you this week's video, which is over 50 minutes of breakdown on how to stop the run in Madden 21. We show you how to stop stretch, fullback dive, inside zone, QB draw, all of it in one video. All right, guys, so uh, we're going to go through here, and what we're going to do is we are going to first talk about this as, man, as it pertains to man-to-man -man coverage, and then we're going to talk about how it pertains to zone coverage. But it's gun empty tray, and the play is double slot cross. This formation can be found in the West Coast offensive playbook, and the West Coast 5 wide is pretty effective in my opinion. It's got some good route combinations. Um, the only thing it doesn't have is a good QB draw, but that's okay. What you're going to see here is these two little mesh routes right here, these drags, they actually work. Um, they're one of the few um they're one of the few double drag mesh routes in my opinion that actually work the way they're supposed to what you're going to see is if your opponent man's uh man coverages you you're they're going to literally run into each other look at that right there i'm going to show you this in instant replay this is why this is so effective in my opinion because this is how mesh is actually supposed to work so what's going to happen against man to man especially if they press coverage you so like right here i press coverage and i shaded inside trying to stop this watch what happens Watch this animation. So they're going to come across, and because they're coming at the same depth, what you're going to see is right there, you see that literally the corner runs into him, and it's an easy dot and get up the field for a quick 10 yards. That's the way mesh is supposed to work. So this is going to work very, very similarly. Literally, they're on the same plane, they're on the same playing field, and so what you're going to see happen oftentimes is if they press coverage you, you are going to literally run into them, and you're going to have one of those two drags that are going to pop open, as you can see right there. So against man, one of the two drags is going to work. The other route that's going to work really well for you, uh, in my opinion, is this route to Devontae Adams. You're going to see when he cuts to the inside, he is going to toast man-to-man -to -man coverage. Very, very simple and very, very effective read against man. The last is the tight end. The tight end on this route, you see here, he's just going to, right as he comes inside, he is going to be able to beat man-to-man -man coverage. Now, what I would recommend you do um, is also, if you have a route chemistry, you could put him on a corner route, but him on this little in route, it does work, as you can see right there. It's just a nice little possession catch because he's unbumpable. On the right side of the field, you're just going to run, you're running a standard fade. You can turn this into anything you want, but I like the fade because if they're running too much press coverage against you, um, that can actually roast it over the top uh, for a one play touchdown score. However, if you want to, what I also would recommend is turning him into a curl route. So if you see safety help over the top, I'd like to turn him into a curl and you can low ball pass lead that inside with a gunsling or quarterback you're going to be able to complete that all right let's talk about zone coverage so cover four um what you're going to see here if they're backed off we're just going to put him on that little curl um and what you'll see here is these two drags are going to work really really well um they're going to be very very simple they're going to be very very effective they're going to work against every zone coverage you got literally every zone coverage in the game these drags when they mesh one of them is going to come open. That's what I love about this play. What I love about this passing concept in general. Now, what's really cool about it is this over route is also going to beat every coverage in the game. Of course, the very first coverage with cover four. It's just a matter of timing. It's just a matter of when you time this play. So here's cover four. What you're going to see is right there. If I throw it low ball, that's going to be wide open against cover four. If they're running... Cover three, same exact thing. So cover three, all right, same thing. I'm just going to low ball this. It's going to get in behind the linebackers and in front of that safety. Uh, we'll show you that one more time. Working the low ball with this is actually very, very effective. But you'll see as a general rule, um, this is going to beat cover three. As you see that nice diving animation he's going to get. Now, this is why I recommend, you know, putting that right side guy on an out route, on a curl route, you know, something like that to hold this corner because what's going to happen is we as long as we don't get to throw out a sack animation 
and let me show you this a little bit. Let me show you this a little bit more. So if they run like standard cover three, what you're going to see is if you take that guy, you put him on an out route or you put him on a curl route, really either one works fine. Um, what you're going to see is you can actually throw that up, pass that up, and Devontae Adams is going to beat cover three over the top, as you can see right there. Now, again, what I would rather do against cover three, and in my opinion, the more effective and just more um, efficient way to move the ball is just low ball him. And you see he's going to come right underneath that blue, deep blue zone just like that right there. The other cool part about this is, like, let's say they go cover two. Well, what you can do when you see him coming up field just like this right here, you can actually pass lead it up. And as you can see, he can kind of you can kind of basically pass lead this route open. That's what I like about it so much. Um, but you'll see that route be very, very effective uh, against zone coverage. You can actually also, if you see here, you can kind of throw it you can kind of throw it in multiple windows. So if they're putting their yellow zones, like if you're looking and maybe they're coming underneath on these drags, like right there, you see how I can throw it in that window very easily. So this is a multi-window route. It's really a backbreaker route. It's really going to do good uh, against a lot of different uh, combinations that your opponent is going to try to employ, uh, which you'll see here is cover four. If you have enough time, he can actually beat the cover four over the top, as you can see right there. And that's what's nice about it. It's really a multi-window route, really going to do a good job against a lot of different uh, coverages that you're going to face. So that's double slot cross in a nutshell, man. It's a really effective play. I think it does a great job. Uh, it's one of the best five wide plays in the game, in my opinion. It's a great mesh concept. In my opinion, it's the best way to run mesh because they're actually going to mesh especially against that press man, which is the one defense that I feel like gives press or gives mesh uh, a, a little bit of trouble is that two man under uh, when they press that two man under with those safeties kind of taking care of that deep, what you're going to see here. Oh, they mesh. And then one of them is going to come open and you're going to be able to get that up against man to man coverage. So all in all guys, it's a really, really good play. Like I said, if you haven't joined the text membership, it's completely free to do. So all you have to do is just shoot that text message uh, to 812-216-3644. That is my personal cell phone number. There's no gimmicks, no nothing. Um, I just want to connect with you guys more. Uh, and the last thing I want to say is if you have not already joined our discord, you can do that. That link is in the description below as well. Um, but again, you see there's that mesh coming through and you're going to be able to get up for about 15 uh 15 yards per pop so very very effective play we've got a couple more videos coming uh here in a little bit also if you haven't joined the cfm and you want to join our online cfm just shoot me a text i'll let you know all the details but a lot of great stuff coming for you guys on the channel so make sure you're subscribed we will be streaming tonight at 10 o'clock p.m eastern time i'd love to see you uh, at our live stream thanks for watching